are married to Wayne Hope mm. and you have um, two daughters, uh, Molly is from your first marriage. Yes. And you and Wayne got together when she was two. Yes. How, I'm from a blended family. Um, and we were a bit older, so it was extremely hard to mm. to mesh together. How was that time combining <coughs> Wayne with your daughter? It was tricky. I, I had the benefit of Wayne comes from a blended slash dysfunctional family. Yes, that's usually what it is, yeah, the blended yeah. dysfunctional. Yeah. <laughs> and so he was fantastic in that period. I was... Uh, very surprised to meet him at that point. I'd moved out with Molly into a flat just up the road from here actually <clears throat> and everybody in the building was a lesbian with cats. So oh, I went, really? okay, this is where I'm headed, yeah. that's all right. <laughs> I'm down with that if that's where it's going. And uh, six weeks after I'd moved out, I worked on a show with Wayne and we really hit it off from the moment we started talking and but I wanted to be sure and so I sort of kept him a secret from Molly for a while and sort of you know if he was over I would sort of kick him out at 3am and go right, right, go right. back to your own place until I was kind of certain that I wanted to um, include him in our life and I said to him from the word go package deal yes us, the two of us, so if you're into me, I'm, you'll have to kind of be taking her on as well. Mm. And, uh, and he did, and I think he really understood that. And he was very respectful of her father because I think he was, it was a very disruptive time in his life of where his family all sat. And I think he understood the ramifications of, um, a disastrous split right. that was terribly acrimonious in his family and he did not want Molly so to have that, that as well. So he was right. always very, very supportive of the whole situation, which was really great because I found it tricky at times and he was the person that kind of went, okay, this is what's going to happen. Wow. And I was really lucky to have, to have that and he was always very generous and he completely became her... Um, parent, mm. but he never claimed the space of being her father. Right. But he's right. been, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, extremely significant in her life. Um, it's and he's an, an incredible man. I guess also taking on, you know, when you don't have your own children to take on. Yes. A little girl. Yeah. Is a is a huge. You know, you can really tell what somebody's like. Yeah, that's right. He. He said something amazing <laughs> because Emily, my, our, our daughter together, is 13 now. And a few years ago, uh, we were talking about favourites in families. We were saying, I, and I was saying, I just find it really hard to understand how you can have a favourite because I, I feel really lucky in the sense that my two are so different. Yes. They bring out different things and I, I, it doesn't feel like I need to have a favourite because they've both got equally super qualities right. and he went yeah I feel the same I don't really have a favorite I don't have a favorite either and oh. I kind of went you know you're a lad like oh. it's fine he goes but she's mine too like oh wow I'm her dad like yeah that's so beautiful I know he's a really great yeah. person so he just totally thinks he's it feels that like she's his yeah. daughter yeah and I think that you know my parents split up when I was five and my sister was um, eight. Yeah, something mm. like that. <laughs> um, but because we were a little bit older, like I vividly remember them sitting us down, telling us they're separating and it really affected my sister. And in, in some ways it comes back to me now, but yes. as hard as breakups are, the fact that Molly was two yeah. is a blessing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's never a good situation, but no. she will grow up not knowing any different. Like she probably doesn't remember back to before Wayne, does she? She doesn't. I mean, she still obviously went to her father's house and she always, I think she carries the vestiges of, of living in two houses. I think it, I think it comes at a cost. Right. It does. Yeah. And I completely own that. I've, I've created that situation for her and I've done my utmost to um, compensate for that. 
not with cash or anything. No. Like with emotion. You should though. Yeah, I should. I buy a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I so vividly remember that every second weekend and oh my god, I'm so I remember when I was old enough to go, I don't want to do this anymore, yeah. you know, because it's yeah. just the that the, you're right, living between two places. It's really and hard and you become two different people in a way because you have from what I understand you have different set of rules and the different yeah, way of yeah, communicating yeah. and um, no less love obviously but it's just different and she did the same thing she decided at a certain point that she just wanted to stay in one house yeah yeah, yeah. that was just enough yeah enough.